What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So I just want to say before I start my video that we are going to be doing raffles um, every 500 subscribers. Um, we just went ahead and hit uh, 2800. So at 3300, we'll go ahead and do another raffle. If you haven't uh, gone to my previous video, go over there and remember follow the instructions on the video that's how you win free stuff that video is still good until thursday or friday something like that whatever the date is on the on the video so if you want free stuff go to my previous video thank you young static for the shout out man you made my day so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the hood on the civic i'm gonna take it off right now we're gonna wet sand it and get it painted the same as the roof and I'm gonna basically do this in sections all in different sections I might do the two fenders together when I when I redo this one um, maybe at the end of the video today is Saturday so maybe I'll go and check out what's going on in Mexico so stay tuned for that maybe towards the end of the video though right now I gotta go to the store and just follow me around I gotta get some mineral spirits. Um, I'm about to jump in the car right now. So I got some odorless mineral spirits and a mixing cup. And now we're heading back to the pad so we can get the stuff started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those uh, bolts off. Those are 10 millimeters. And then we're gonna take this to the back of the shed. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this rubber thing that it has right here. And on my other paint job, I painted over these guys. I think I'm gonna remove these guys and I'm gonna paint them black. And then I'm gonna start wet sanding with some 320 and soapy water so I got my soapy water I got some 320 and I got a little foam thing that I'm gonna use just to to wrap the sandpaper in you just want the surface to be all scuffed down that way the other paint will go ahead and stick to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this with the sandpaper and I'll continue recording as soon as it's all done. So I got it all wet sanded. Um, I couldn't take these off because of the fact that I don't wanna mess up the little clip that it has underneath. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slide maybe some paper or something under here to cover it. So I'm gonna take this and set it up inside the shed right now. And that way I'm gonna keep as many particles off of it as possible. So I got it pretty much set up inside the shed. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off with some mineral spirits on a paper towel. Just wipe everything clean. Then I'm gonna mix my paint. And then before I spray, I will use the tack cloth in case any particles landed on there. So I did 16 ounces Rust-Oleum and 4 ounces Mineral Spirits. I already cleaned out my gun. I'm just going to go ahead and spray whatever's in there left. Spray it all out, all that uh, 
I put mineral spirits and I put some of this stuff in there to clean out the gun. And I went inside. I took everything apart and I went inside with the brush. So I'm just gonna hook it up to the compressor and blow out whatever liquid is in there. So I got the paint in there. I'm gonna hook up the line and then I'm gonna check and make sure that the shape that this gun is spitting out is like a football shape. So my setting is the same as last time. I got that football shape so you guys can see. So we are ready to go paint. I'm gonna throw my mask on and we will get started. So that's all you guys really want for the first coat just to mist it um, all you want to do is make the surface tacky I know I've said this before many times but I'm repeating it for any new guys um, I went ahead and I spun this panel around so I could spray on this side because obviously as you guys saw I was only able to spray three sides and the top I couldn't get to the back side so right now as soon as I'm gonna wait around 20 minutes then I'm gonna come back and do a second coat. I'm gonna spray the back first, then I'm gonna spin it around. With the second coat, you want the second coat to cover all the red. So you want it all to be a solid color. Don't worry about the shine, don't worry about anything. You just want a solid color on the whole thing. So I went ahead and I had to spin uh, the hood around. I'm gonna set this down right here. Um, I had to spin the hood around so I could get behind there and spray all the edges. And it's looking really good. There's like zero dust particles. I'm pretty sure that there are dust particles in there. But right now, to the eye, there's zero dust particles in there. So I just got saved by one of you guys um, in my comments in a previous video somebody had commented to you to use a toothpick if I get any bugs on here I did get a small little bug that landed right here and I went in there and I pulled him out and it doesn't even look like there was anything there but 
the hood looks pretty glossy I know it's still gonna get even glossier once I lay the last coat which I am gonna do right now so let's go ahead and get this done let's go So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow for that hood to dry up and then we can go ahead and check it out. Um, I did paint these guys. It's drying right now. Looks pretty good. So tomorrow we will check the hood and right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to Mexico. so I'm here at the spot and there's nobody here there's one guy I talked to him and he said that it's not happening tonight they don't know what's going on but it looks like it's gonna rain though it was supposed to rain it did sprinkle earlier so yeah it's not happening guys sorry maybe next week I'm at the second spot and this is completely dead also. There's nobody here. This whole parking lot should have been full. I'm almost at the next spot. This is the last spot I'm gonna check. After this, I'm gonna call it a night if there's something going on back here. Yeah, there's something going on back here. It looks like I have the whole strip to myself. There's a car coming this way. But... Yeah, it looks like I have that the whole strip to myself, like I said. So I'm just gonna call it a night and I'll use record next week or something. Alright, I don't know what's going on over here, but there's a a fight there's a fist fight over here going on So they broke it up, but now it looks like more people are starting to jump in. So it looks like the cops are on the way right now. So I'm 
out of here. So you guys saw what happened last night. Um, today's the day after, it's Sunday. And I did put the, the hood on the Civic. So here it is. There is a spot where it's a little bit foggy looking. I'm gonna show you guys right now. It's right here. I'm gonna attempt to wet sand that section. But besides that, I don't care about these little tiny little things that it has. It's got one here. And then it's got one like right here. Yeah, I really don't care about that stuff. I am gonna take this fender off. That's gonna probably be my next uh, video. And this one's the one that I had clear coated. So you can see all the little wrinkles that it has. I'm gonna attempt to wet sand those wrinkles off and see what happens. If that doesn't work, I will go ahead, sand the whole thing down, repaint it, and lay the clear as soon as I, I paint it. So just how you guys said um yeah so this is gonna be the end of the video i'll catch you guys on my next video till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later